Okay, yeah, this road has just been used for light traffic for some years, and um, now we're going to start hauling logs in it again with big trucks. So it needs to, you have to revisit it for the snag potential along it. And this is one snag that I noticed that um, is a really good candidate for blasting because it is on a steep slope. There's nowhere to really to go to get away from it. It's leaned up the hill, which means you know, could come uphill and slide back here. It's also leaned back into this big cedar, in which case it's likely to, um, you know, could quite possibly fall into the cedar and break off and come back at you. So there's just all kinds of reasons why it's not a good place to be standing for, for a faller to be standing when that tree goes. So, yeah, you can just see down the bank here where it's, like I say, it's fairly steep, but to be standing on that bank with a tree chasing you back down, it would not be a good spot to be. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut a window in it, put some powder in it, and then we'll just come up and we can all stand safely on the road and fall the tree. Yeah, once again, you can see how steep it is down here and how there is really nowhere to go for cover. And yeah, with this thing lean back, it leaned towards that cedar. If it was to hit that and break and come back down here, a person wouldn't really have anywhere to go. And if you look up this tree a bit, you can see the fungus is there. It's obviously a fairly decayed tree that it's, you know, entirely possible you're not going to have very good control of it. It, it, and it, yeah, it would certainly be a yeah touch can to be trying to wedge. So I think this is obviously the best way of following it. So anyway, I'll go ahead and cut a window in it, and we'll uh, get her loaded up. Saw away and get some powder and put it in there and we'll let it rip. Okay, yeah, so I'm just getting the powder in this in here. Again, priming a stick. Okay, so we'll roll her up the road here and get this thing going. Yeah, so you can see by the stump, the stump that it obviously was pretty rotten. This tree would have been hard to control, and as it happened, it, it did fall straight up the hill. And you can see where the butt ran back down the hill quite a ways there. Is it certainly had the potential for being a pretty hazardous tree for somebody to be here when it went down. And that's the whole point of this blasting like this is to get the faller away from the hazard. That if it's going to be a hazardous place when that tree moves, don't be there. Do it from a distance with powder. 